Hello. In this video, we're going to talk about how to cut down on careless mistakes. I can't tell you how many times I've heard, I just make a lot of careless mistakes, or I do really well, but I just tend to make too many careless errors. Well, making careless mistakes doesn't happen by accident. It happens because you don't have a process in place. So I'd like to help you <coughs> eliminate careless mistakes by thinking about that process a little bit more clearly. So careless mistakes happen for several reasons, but usually, like I mentioned, because of a lack of process. So the first thing is we need to read with intent. I used to say read carefully, but I realized that that doesn't mean too much. I want you to read specifically focusing on two things. Number one, what does the question ask you to solve for? You should underline this so that your brain is tuned into what you need to solve for. Secondly, you should underline all significant mathematical terms like integer or negative or consecutive because these will play a critical role in solving the problem. Step two, write everything down. Not writing things down is a recipe for disaster. Most Carol's mistakes happen because people take the question, they go into their calculator straight to the answer and oftentimes allow Carol's mistakes to creep in. So write everything down and you have a better chance of not making a mistake and if your answer ends up not being in the answer choices you have some work to look at that you can go back through to help figure out where you went wrong. Step three, use your calculator. You need to use your calculator for all arithmetic. There's absolutely no excuse for making an addition, subtraction, multiplication, or division mistake when you've got a calculator sitting right next to you. Use your calculator for probability questions including permutation and combinations because these oftentimes can take up too much time if done by hand. And then use your calculator to do all fractions. The frac button, which is under math, uh, in the first menu in math on your graphing calculator, is a very helpful button to cut down on arithmetic mistakes related to fractions. Lastly, and probably the most important step in terms of cutting down on mistakes that are really hard to, to, uh, to see, confirm your answer. So this seems really simple. Yeah, you know, I know what I solved for, but I want you to confirm that you solved for what the question asked. Oftentimes on the SAT, when you're asked to solve for something like x, they don't actually ask you for x as the answer. So oftentimes you'll solve for x, but they're looking for 2x. Or you'll solve for a side of a triangle, and they're looking for the perimeter. And it's so disappointing to find out that you missed a question you completely understood simply because you didn't answer what the question asked. So two things I'd like you to do. Confirm that you answered exactly what the question asked, and also check your work. So if you solve for something, plug it back into the equation. This way there's no doubt that your answer is in fact correct. So hopefully you can stop making careless mistakes by following this, the four-step plan. Remember those four steps are read with intent, write everything down, use your calculator, and don't forget to confirm your answer. Hope to see you soon.